I was in Miami last year and then I, you know, my wife and I went up to a bar. I think it was at the hotel we were staying at. It was actually when the Georgia Bulldogs uh, won the championship. They were staying at the hotel we were at. And that was pretty cool. But I ordered a orange crush and I didn't, I didn't look at the menu on this one. I just had that, you know, I just had an urge for, for an orange crush. And a lot of you guys are like orange crush. Well, that's what the bartender looked at me with. He said, a, a what? And I got to thinking, and my wife pointed it out, orange crushes are a local thing to us here on Delmarva and in the Mid-Atlantic. Specifically, Ocean City. It may even be the birthplace of an orange crush. And so what is an orange crush? Well, if you like mimosas or anything like that, you'll absolutely love an orange crush. Today, I'm gonna to show you the backbone of an orange crush recipe. It's so simple, so easy, and absolutely delicious. It's a cocktail you have got to know. And here in the area, we've taken that orange crush and turned it into watermelon crushes and grape crushes, and you name it, we have a crush for it. And why not, right? I mean, it's so delicious, we might as well expand it. But the orange crush is the OG. That's the original cocktail. Let me show you how to get it done. So the backbone of an orange crush is real fruit juice. Most bars have some type of commercial press they can use for these juices. Here at home, I have just a simple tool. It's something that's easy to clean and uh, you know gets the job done just as well. But you have to have fresh orange juice for a real orange crush. This guy here is perfect. However, I do have one of the commercial styles when we have, we've had orange crush parties and you know, a lot of orange crushes are being made, but unless you're doing a whole lot of them, something simple and easy to clean is better. And this guy's just very simple. It's just a, you can get all kinds of stuff like this on Amazon. It's just a, a jar. And then on top is, you know, just the juicing device here. Snap that on. And now we're getting some fresh juice. If any of you guys have been to Delaware and you've been to our beach areas, you've probably heard of Dewey Beach and the iconic Starboard. They are absolutely famous for their orange crushes, so why not use one of their cups, right? We're just gonna dump that orange juice straight in there. And so now it's decision time. You need some type of orange liqueur. You're gonna see a lot of recipes if you look this up online where it's gonna say Grand Marinet. Uh, however, what I'm gonna tell you is it almost exclusively bars use triple sec and I, I think it's because it's just a, a cheaper liquor but to be honest with you maybe it's conditioning I don't know I like the taste of the orange crush better with triple sec but you can go with any type of orange liqueur that you want to I will say the Grand Marinet it it has a darker color than the triple sec I'm just a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to this and if it doesn't look like I'm used to having then it you know, I think that kind of mentally throws off the flavor. We're gonna use an ounce and a half of triple sec. And now we need a vodka. My favorite vodka for mixed drinks is Tito's. It also happens to be the favorite of many commercial bars in the area. We're going with two ounces of Tito's plain vodka. You could also do a splash of some whipped or vanilla vodka if you want, if you if that's your thing. Personally, I like it just like this. Our next ingredient adds a little bubble to the drink and you could use Sprite, you could use club soda, anything that's gonna give you a little bit of carbonation. You don't want a whole lot of it, but you do want a little bit. And the Sprite, I, I recommend using Sprite. It adds some sweetness as well. If you use club soda, you may wanna use a little bit of a, you know, some agave syrup or simple syrup to sweeten it up a bit. We're going with two ounces of some Sprite. And then I do about an ounce and a half of water. And we mix this all together with just a pour. And that's it, that's the Orange Crush. Oh man, that's good. Now you gotta be careful. Sometimes these can be a little bit dangerous because they go down so easy, so smooth. It's a absolutely delicious drink. Everybody has their own little touch for the Orange Crush. Like I said, you could splash it with some whipped cream vodka or some vanilla vodka. 
uh, but it, it's really up to you. But this is the backbone of all the Orange Crush recipes. Make sure you give this a shot and then throw your creativity into it and see what you can come up with. I love an Orange Crush. You guys have an awesome week. I'll see you on the next video.